In this video, I will show you how to write an Evo Master driver to do white box testing of a RESTful API. Uh, the source code of the API is available on GitHub, and it's an application that is written in Spring Boot using H2 database. So here is, for example, the source code. Here we can see the dependencies uh, for Spring Boot, for Spring JPA, uh, Spring Fox that is going to be used uh, to automatically generate Open API schema, H2 database, and also JUnit and Rest Assure for the test cases. Here in the main application file, uh, we are configuring SpringFox to generate the schema and also add a main method to run the application. So let's run it. Because then with SpringFox we can also look at uh, the documentation directly on the browser. This application is very simple. It, has, it just has uh, three endpoints. Three endpoints that deal with items. To get all items, get a specific item by ID, or create a new item. And then the item will just be saved into the database using JPA. So now the first step uh, to be able to use uh, Evo Master on, to test this application, to generate test cases automatically for this application, is to look at the documentation. So here in Evo Master, uh, because we want to do white box testing, we need to check the documentation for doing white box testing. So the very first step is that we need to include uh, the Emo Master client as a dependency. So here, for the version, we can check the latest version on Maven Central, but we can also look here in Evo Master main readme, in which the, the latest version is going to be specified here. In this case, 101. And let's refresh the Maven. Now, now that we have a dependency, uh, the next step is that we need to generate, create a new driver class that extend the embedded SUT controller. So for example, here, we're going to create a new job class. Let's call it an EM driver, but we could call it anything. Let's make it extend embedded SUT controller. This controller will have several abstract methods that need to be implemented. However, before going method by method, uh, let's add a main starting point for the driver. Now, here we are going to be a list of methods that we need to implement to be able to do white box testing on this uh, RESTful API by using Evo Master. Uh, because this application is written in Spring, uh, let's start from uh, saving a reference to the context, to the configurable application context, which we are going to use in a few of these methods. 
So let's create a private field for it. Now, in this first method, we need to check if application is up and running. This can be simply done by checking the context. Uh, these other methods uh, deal with uh, the specification of uh, which uh, packages we want to generate test cases for. When we run, when we test an application, uh, not only where is going to be the business logic that we have written, like here, but there are all going, there is going to be all the third-party libraries like Spring, Ibernet, and so on. And we don't want to really to optimize coverage for those. So because all of our business code, uh, business logic is under the package org.example, so here we're just going to return that. Uh, this API doesn't deal uh, with uh, authentication. So for example, we are not using Spring Security, so we can skip this method. Also notice that all of these methods, they are described here in this document but we can also look at the Java doc, specifying what we're doing and what needs to be implemented to make them work. Next one is a get connection. So we, we need to allow Evo master to access the database. So let's create a variable for it. and let's return it here. We will then need as well to actually create such instance, but that will is going to be done later when we start the application. Uh, we need to specify the driver uh, used to access the database. In this case, we're using h2, so it's going to be our org h 2driver We are dealing with uh, a RESTful API, so here we need to provide some information about it. Uh, like, for example, where the open API schema is going to be available. Uh, because we are using SpringFox to automatically generate the schema, the, uh, the schema uh, will be available in this endpoint. Uh, next, we need to specify how we want to generate the test cases, in which programming language and in which format and which libraries to use. In this particular case, what we want is uh, Java using JUnit 5. Finally, here, we need uh, this is the most uh, complex method, it's, it's uh, where we are going to start the actual application. For a Spring Boot application, we can just use Spring Application Run to start it. So, for example, I can copy and paste from here. Uh, we could bind to an ephemeral port, but to make uh, things simple, let's just bind to the default port 8080. And another important thing that we need to do here is that we need to configure uh, the connection to the database to use p6py, which is going to be used by Evo Master to analyze all the interactions with the database. Uh, we still need to get a reference to the connection, and this thing in Spring can be done with this code. Finally, before we can complete, uh, to complete this method, we need to return where the API is going to run, the URL of where it's going to be available, in which in this case is just on localhost on the default port 8080. Uh, stopping the SUT is just a matter of calling the method stop from the context. The last method that we need to, to implement is uh, the resetting of the state. In this API, the only state is in the database. So uh, things that we can do 
is just to use the utility class dbcleaner to reset the state. Now, if everything is correct, we can start this driver. So let's stop the application here and let's start the driver. So this will start the driver, which will listen on port uh, 40,100. To uh, use Evo Master, we, we, are we need to download it. So from here, we need to download it from this page and unload its jar file. Now here, for simplicity, I have already downloaded and put it in the same folder. And now I can just run it from the command line. So I'm going to do a java minus jar evo master. Then I'm going to specify a couple of parameters. Like for example, this is uh, just uh, to show a simple application. So I'm only going to run it for a very short amount of time, just for 20 seconds. And then I need to specify where the test cases uh, should be saved to. So let's say that I want to save them here. So let me copy the path. So now Evo Master is starting. It's going to connect to the driver that will start the application and then we'll start to generate test cases. So now we need to wait for 20 seconds. And once it is completed, we are expecting the test cases to be put in this folder here. So let's refresh. And here is the file that has been generated right now. So this is the file with all the test cases uh, that were generated uh, during the search for 20 seconds. These test cases are self-contained because we are going to use the driver uh, to uh, start the application, uh, stop it, and reset its state after every single test case. 